Howdy. Well, something on the lens. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of uh, Boy Scouts uh, and uh, their leaders and whatnot behind me, so I'm not going to be too loud, but uh, just wanted to make a video and share some of my thoughts with y'all, of which there are many. Once again, the, uh, the thought of um, getting off the trail has risen up in my mind and it comes along with so many other thoughts. Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but uh, I just, you know, I wish I knew what the best thing was to do. Um, I guess tomorrow, at my next opportunity to disembark would be uh, at uh, about the 800 mile mark <laughs> which would be great I mean 800 miles is certainly an accomplishment for sure um, longer than any other hike I've done before and uh, I've definitely been enjoying this for the most part but I'll tell you the past couple of days have been really getting to me um, the bugs and the extreme heat and uh, just, I mean, those two things alone can just totally wreak havoc on your mental um, wherewithal or capacity, whatever you want to call it, um, as I'm experiencing. <laughs> it's just, there's just seemingly no escape sometimes from the bugs and and then the heat of course there's no escape from that either <laughs> sometimes you find a cold stream but even if you get everything wet and uh, cool down for a moment you know ten minutes later on the trail you're dry and then five minutes after that you're drenched with sweat again or at least I am so I mean it's great times most of the time but not when it's like that uh, Virginia is definitely beautiful again not flat in any way I don't know what people are thinking when they're talking about that or or anything but uh, that's definitely not true so anyway still thinking it over as always um, might try to make a couple of calls uh, and go into town tomorrow, maybe have a lunch and make some calls and see uh, if I can spend a couple of days with some family friends, uh, Stevic and Robert, who apparently live in Waynesboro, which, or close to Waynesboro, which is a trail town. Uh, I was uh, going to try to hike there, but that would be another 54 miles, and currently I don't really feel like doing that, so... But, uh, we have company. I'm just making a video, man. <laughs> no worries, dude. Don't worry about it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I just keep the stuff over here. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, so, yeah, the light just came on. I'm not sure if that's making a difference on me or what. But, uh, yeah, so thinking it over, figuring it all out. If, uh, if the 1,600 miles that I have not hiked, or if the 1,600 miles that I did not hike last year, I guess, are not to be hiked altogether this year, then so be it. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm productive and uh, continue getting healthier and everything, you know, when I get back to New Hampshire and all that kind of stuff. Um, I certainly uh, miss hanging out with family and friends and and playing music when I have the opportunity um, with my mother or anybody else. Um, all, you know, cooking and, and, uh, and all the day-to-day -day things, you know, even having a job, uh, I'm sure that's going to go away quite quickly once I finally get another one, but uh, it seems like uh, sometimes I even miss the, uh, you know, mundane routines of 
of uh, going to work and whatnot, which is disgusting. I'm sure it's just a, a figment of my imagination, as it were, but uh, <laughs> you never know. So, anyway, I don't even know if you're hearing a word that I'm saying. You should. Hopefully the microphone will pick it up, but uh, rock and roll. We will continue having the fire. We will cook some dinner. And we will hope that it cools off tonight and that we can get a good sleep before hiking the other 10 or 11 miles to Buena Vista. When I say we, obviously I mean the royal we. <laughs> As I am alone. There, I mean, there are other people out here, but you know, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Okay, so that's enough. We'll talk to you later.